Hello to everybody, my name is Julia Garcia and um, I represent uh, the uh, winery in the south of France which named Vignoble Villas. Villas is the family name of the winemaker, designer and um, owner of eight um, wine estates in the south of France. We have about 160 hectares of vineyards in different populations and we produce uh, very eye-catching creative bottles with very concentrated in aromas and color and uh, in emotions wines. So I hope you will have a very good moment to discover our um, some of our new bestsellers already. So today we will present you uh, other uh, item of the subject of our tasting is uh, orange wine. Uh, we will present a range of um, that uh, wines called uh, naturally pure. Uh, so it's uh, organic and vegan, of course. And um, the first wine that I would like to present you is called orange mechanic. So uh, this wine uh, is made in appellation uh, of origin uh, Vin de France, um, so we don't have any restrictions uh, of the blending and the aging. So uh, the winemaker has a very uh, a lot of liberty for creating this wine. Uh, the grape variety, variety that we use for this um, um, wine is Gros Mansang. So the the uh, idea of creating the orange wine is to take. Um, um, to vinify uh, white grapes as uh, black grapes, keeping the skin in the tank and uh, then filtering and putting them back uh, to the barrel with the French oak uh, for the few months. So the, um, for the tasting notes of this uh, wine, uh, you have a very bright color, uh, light orange color. Um, and it's um, the taste is intense, uh, very aromatic. On the nose, you have aromas of uh, white citrus fruits and uh, slightly peaches. In the mouth, it shows uh, volume uh, and uh, loveliness uh, um, and a very fresh finish. So uh, I would like just to show you to mention two other vines from this range. It calls naturally pure uh, with a very funny design. Uh, it is um, Sanso red grape, red grape, and it's um, the only vine. Um, um, all of them, all all three of them are vegan and uh, organic. And the third vine from the range calls. Um, naturally pure uh, with a, like a farmer who put in his pants in the in the soil it's like an old tradition in the south of France and this is Grenache but I won't speak about this one so, uh, now if you are interested just uh, contact me for that uh, so now uh, we will continue by uh, rare grape varietals uh, and uh, today I will present you the range which is called eco-friendly so now it's a rather popular uh, in the world. Uh, everybody wants to save the planet and we are together. So uh, the first one that I will present is called um, eco-friendly uh, Old Aramon. Old Aramon is always uh, also in the appellation uh, Van de France. Um, every label on this range has a story. So I don't know if you see it here on the... Um, on the label you have, um, you see Louis Villas, grandfather of Nicolas Villas, the winemaker of our winery, um, with his white mule ready to be tacked for harvest work. This photo dates from the 60s years and was taken in Tehran, where we have our main wine estate. So for the story of the old Aramon, um, this is very rare grape variety from Languedoc, a historical grape variety from it has a very large clusters great large grapes and bluish color and uh, it calls also uni noir and uh, in languedoc it was uh, this name um, has a hairy hairy um um how to say hairy hairy in it. And uh, there is only a few plots now left today of this grape varietal planted in Languedoc, so it's rather rare, uh, Aramon, and um, it gives um, uh, it gives birth to the vines with light slide, not very tannic, and uh, keeping uh, still keeping a um, 
um, character uh, that the same that gives very lively uh, lively lively fruity and greedy vibes. We produce only uh, thirteen thousand bottles per year, and um, I hope you will uh, enjoy discovering the flavor of uh, yesterday with this wine. Uh, for the tasting notes, uh, I think um, you will love uh, its spicy, fruity flavors with ripe, stro uh, ripe strawberry and cherry notes. Uh, so maybe you can find some spicy notes of black pepper and uh, some floral notes of violet and the final. Uh, naturally low in tannin and acidity it has it has a very uh, soft perfume so uh, to serve with I advise you to serve um, nat naturally naturally light in alcohol this one is ideal for uh, a region uh, for um, uh, very sunny days and uh, I think you will appreciate it on a for aperitif as well so the next one is uh, Le Denier Pelut uh, I don't know if you, if you have heard about this grape varietal before. Uh, I discovered it in, um, several months ago. So it's a uh, Vin de France as well. So 100% Le Denier Pelut. Uh, so this is Hairy Grenache. It comes from Catalan. It has a Catalan origin and it's uh, uh, due to a very old mutation of Grenache Noir, which earned in the nickname of uh, Hairy Grenache. Uh, degree is 14.5 so the first one was 12 degree uh, 12 degree I don't know if I told you but it's very rare in Languedoc to have this uh, slow degree low degree here so because um, we have a very a lot of Sun and um, uh, we harvest at uh, rather late maturity the grapes so uh, our vines are rather concentrated and high alcohol so for the Legionnaire Pelut it gives a remarkable wine, really uh, powerful and generous, ample and very aromatic with notes of black licorice and paper. Uh, beyond the cur curiosity around the name of this uh, unknown grape variety, uh, this wine has a um, very good potential for aging. It has, uh, for the tasting notes, <coughs> you have, um, for the tasting notes, um, for the tasting notes, so it has an intense red color, nose with the um, notes of uh, red fruits, uh, strawberry, spices, uh, rosemary, uh, all the Mediterranean herbs that you find in Languedoc. Um, I have so many, so less time, so I will, con I will, con I will finish by Tempranilla. You know this grape variety mostly because um, uh, you find it uh, often in uh, Spain, so it's 13.5 degree and the grape rachel is Tempranilla, of course. Van de France as well. So this, um, the world of Tempranilla comes from, uh, mich, uh, means early or pre pre precocious in Spanish. So it's indeed a has to variety that ripens quite early in the year. Ripens quite early in the year. So these vines are rather corpulent, tannic, revealing a wide uh, range of aromas. Uh, so strawberry, uh, they have the aromas of red fruits, often strawberries, strawberry jam, uh, dried fruits. And um, sometimes you can have tobacco, tobacco leaves and um, spices, chocolate as well. The best wines are they are developed tasty of bacon flavors as well. So, rather greedy one. Uh, it stands to their, thanks to their smooth uh, texture. These vines are ideal partners for breast meat. And uh, to give you uh, some some example for um, my favorite deal dish is a rabbit with prunes and bacon, for example. Rabbit uh, rabbit with prunes and bacon. Um, so I presented you four vines. But um, I would like to remind you that we produce uh, more than 400 uh, different eye-catching attractive vines. So I hope you, um, uh, you will contact me for other uh, video meeting and uh, we will have a, a, a good work together. Thank you for your time and uh, you will have my contact uh, in the in
in the presentation. Bye.